DJ Pro Classic Mode Tutorial. I'm DJ Spiegelspin and I'm going to show you all the tips and tricks to the DJ Pro Classic Mode. I know the struggle of not knowing what everything does in the Classic Mode of DJ Pro. I read the user manual multiple times and tested it for hours and hours so you don't have to. Okay, so at the bottom you got the crossfader. You can move it left and right. It's nice and smooth. And then we've got virtual decks. You can move them back and forth and it's just like moving a real record. Check it out. And now the button to the right is the most important button, the play button. It starts and stops the song. And now the, the needle or the arm thing it will change the time in the song. It will turn the motor on that will spin the record. Start slow and then it goes fast. Now the slider on the right will control the tempo. It will speed it up or slow it down. Now the button on the top right will give you more options with the BPM. So if you go to tempo, there you can raise it by percentage and at the bottom you will be able to change the percentage so if you set it to eight it'll be more precise but it'll only go eight percent now if you set it to 75 percent you can make the song go really fast or really slow you have the looper so if you press it it'll set a loop the arrows can either go less of a loop or more of a loop. Check it out. Press the button that says set. It'll set a temporary two point. So every time you tap it, it'll play and then go back to where you set it. And if you hold it, it'll keep going. N button that stands for Nero Mix. You could separate the vocals from the music essentially creating your own acapella check it out now the button at the top right opens the library i'll make a new video about just about the library that'll be in a different video but for right now that's where the library is now if you hit the eq button above the play button it'll open up a whole bunch of options this is the eq setting you got a high pass filter low pass filter you got bass mids and highs and you could adjust the gain of the track too and button that's neuro mix you get a more detailed control you could do the harmonics you could remove the drums or you can remove the vocals. It's a lot of fun. Now next you got effects. So first it'll open up the pad effects. So you could put in an effect and then if you move your finger up it's high pass. Move it lo lower it'll be low pass. And then next if you go to instant it does instant effects. It has some cool ones. Absorbs, sway, punch, it makes cool sounds. Pretty cool. Next we got the looper. So it starts with the bounce effect and you can change it to all the way down to like a stutter. So that's bounce mode. And then next we have pad mode. Same thing with the effect. It's high pass and low pass with the amount of loop you want. And then also, of course, there's auto. You can set all different auto. You can even save loop or you can do it manually hitting the in and out button. One, two, three, four. Next we got is the Q mode. You could set up to eight different points in the song, like uh, cool vocals or wherever you want to start. What I do is I pick where I'm going to start the song and where I'm going to end the song with all the songs that I play. But I'll do another video on Q points. But this is where it is in the classic mode. By the middle, you're in the looper and sampler mode. You could set loops or you could trigger samples. One of my favorite things to do in this app. You have BPMs, you can control the BPM. So, and if a song's playing with sync on, it will be the same BPM and in sync with the song that's playing. Same if you switch it to sampler mode. If you have the red button at the bottom push, 
it'll play it to the beat and it will be in sync with the song that's playing or with your looper pattern going. So you can mess around with it. It's a whole whole bunch of fun, a lot of options, the no limits on what you could create with this. If you turn off the record button, you could just do one shot sample. A great feature that makes it easier to scratch on the iPad is the cutting mode. So if you put the crossfader all the way to the left and then you just tap the halfway point, it'll automatically go back and forth so you could do a smooth chirp scratch. Check this out. And now the button to the left at the top is your mixer button. So you could do the volume and you could do the EQ. If you press the EQ button at the bottom, so you really could do anything you need to do for DJing on the classic mode. Links in the description for my favorite DJ controllers and super cool shirts and masks. Thanks for watching. More great videos coming soon.